2 Samuel chapter 22, a rock that Jesus Christ caused to be formed. Deny yourself daily. Pick up your cross and follow Jesus. This is what William Tyndale had to say at page 10. Behold, God set it before us, a blessing and also a curse. A blessing verily, and that a glorious and an everlasting. If we will suffer tribulation and adversity with our Lord and Savior Christ. And an everlasting curse, if for a little pleasure's sake, we withdraw ourselves from the chastening and nurture of God, wherewith he teacheth all his sons, and fashioneth them after his godly will, and maketh them perfect as he did Christ, and maketh them apt and meet vessels to receive his grace and his spirit, that, that they might perceive and feel the exceeding mercy which we have in Christ, and the innumerable blessings, and the unspeakable inheritance, whereunto we are called and chosen and sealed in our Savior, Jesus Christ, and whom we praise forever. Amen. So you choose to serve the Lord, brethren, even when it's not convenient. A fake friend of mine once said, Well, the way I see it, you can do what's right, and be in jail and not be happy, or you can do what's wrong and not be in jail and be happy. You do what's right. And know that these jails are so evil that their intent is they want to poison people with the evil jabs, the evil poison. 